Hi everybody, it's Claire back with an art journal video. Um, so again, I'm doing a single page spread in the craft journal and I'm going to be playing with some of the Tim Holtz um, most recent ideology, ideology, I'm never sure how to say that, um, release. So some of the ephemera that he released recently. So um, sometimes I like to challenge myself to use colours that I wouldn't normally pick and today is one of those days. So I'm using um, lapis, sky and turquoise and I'm going to be doing the technique where I just get the three colours on my brush and swoosh them onto the page. Um, it's a really lovely technique, it's a lovely way to get some colour on your page, it kind of blends the colours together a little bit and it gives you a great starting point for the rest of your page. So once that was dry I then went in with um, the Squoval stencil and the sky colour and using my blending tool I'm just adding some stenciling onto the background of my page. And you can see that already starts to break up the colour that we've just I've swiped on using my wide brush. And you notice in some areas I'm adding part of the stencil shape, I'm not adding it all. In some areas it's a bit lighter. So if you kind of uh, move the blending tool around on your page, you'll get like a really uh, kind of light coating of the paint. And if you dab it on, you can make it go a little bit more opaque. So then this is another stencil called, I think it's, um, it always reminds me of the mini favourites, but I don't, it's not called that. It's called um, Shape Mashup. And... I'm echoing the squoval shape on that one because it's a little bit smaller. I just thought I'd use that shape on this stencil and I was using um, ocean through that stencil. And then I'm going in with some white and using the square part on that stencil too. So there's lots of layers building up already, um, but trying to keep it kind of analogous so it's in the same colour palette, apart from the white that we've just added, which is a little bit of a contrast. So then I'm just adding some white splatters too onto the page and then going in with the Saison ink in teal blue and adding some stamping on there as well. And I think I might have also done some stenciling through the mantra stencil use, looking at it with the bit of the lapis. So these uh, figures are from the uh, Tim Holtz ideology. It's the paper doll portraits. These are so brilliant. I love these. And I think they do work quite nicely together in a little group as well. And I had a bit of a play adding some colours onto the tops of their figures. So and it, they take the paint really well. So, you know, you can kind of add a bit more interesting detail. So I added the paint on and then just gently using a piece of kitchen roll paper towel, just wiped off the excess and it left a really lovely like a gentle colour on the um, paper doll. So that one I decided I wanted it to be a different colour to the first one that I painted. So I went over the top of it and it was like a quite a mottled effect. It was quite pretty, quite liked how that worked. So if this isn't something that I'd, I'd tried before, um, but I was really quite pleased with, with how it worked. Um, and there we go, still not happy with that blue. Gone in, made it kind of more yellowy green because <laughs> obviously we all know blue and yellow makes green that's a funny green though that anyway so then I'm going in with purple so that will be a blackberry yeah and changing the colours so you can layer colours too obviously okay so then I'm sticking these in just using a glue stick to pop them in place these are just going to go along the bottom of my page and I'm going to cut any excess off the bottom um, just so that they're not all at the same height, so they're kind of a little bit staggered um, and just to make them fit on the page. A little bit of um, double sided tape first and then some glue stick over the top. So then I just gave them some little pink cheeks as well. Do you know, I have no idea why I do that at all, but it's just I like it's like a, something I have to do. Um, I really like how it looks. I can't really explain that other than that. So then these are pieces of ephemera also from the Tim Holtz um, range. I think some of them are from the ephemera pack memoirs and some are from the number strips. 
mixture of things really um as you if you you will know if you're into art journaling tim holtz has got some fantastic um things in his range just absolutely fabulous for adding those extra touches to your pages um so then i am using a blue posca pen and just adding some dots onto there this is the collage um hmm, what are they called the i can't remember Oh, yes, ledger pack, ledger paper packs from Dina Wakely. I'm having a bit of a brain fart today, sorry. <laughs> I'm just taking one of the quotes from there. I'm going to stick that onto my page. I'm using the glue stick to stick that in place too. And I really liked how this page was coming together. It, it worked really well which makes me want to play with the Tim Holtz things that I have in my collection a little bit more. I'm quite excited because I've just ordered some new stamps as well, which hopefully will be coming very soon. So you will be seeing those appearing in some of my journal pages. So next I'm going in with the Signo Uniball and doing a little bit more mark making, just drawing some little circles um, and just playing really. Sometimes this is really um, a purposeful doodling and sometimes it isn't I just think I'm just gonna do some dots and circles and then kind of just go with the flow and see what happens um, but for me it's just about breaking up some areas of the page where it might feel a little bit too empty or a bit too the colors too solid um, just to break it up a little bit So then I'm just using a black pen, just going around those words just to make them stand out a little bit more. And then I also added some fluorescent pink dots using a Molotow pink acrylic marker. And that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me play with some of these Tim Holtz ephemera pieces. Um, thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.